what's going on everybody check it out so a few days ago uh, I ended up finding this thing here on um, good old marketplace and uh, well with axial fest coming up here next month figured I need to get another axial rig so this thing was actually in really good shape uh, as far as I can tell uh, the guy got it he put a uh, spectrum brushless system in it maybe ran ran it a couple times in his backyard or something and then has just been sitting on it because this thing had no scratches underneath of it it might have a few now just for me driving it up here but i mean this thing is clean um so the deal was he wanted to keep his uh receiver uh so I had to tear into it as soon as I got it anyways so I tore it down uh, took his receiver out and I put one of my other receivers into it I'm gonna have to get me another fly sky receiver uh, so I think it'd be nice to have a gyro on this thing <laughs> but uh, while I had it apart I went ahead and put my two two knock off boggers on it uh, they are a little bit smaller than the tires that come stock on this thing but i don't think that's a bad thing she was pretty tippy right out of the box or not so much out of the box but when i got it um and then coincidentally uh i had actually ordered a sway bar kit that I was going to use on another rig uh, and it was the bomber kit or the bomber sway bar kit um, I'd actually ordered it before I even saw this thing up for sale so I went ahead and put that in here it's not a fancy one it's just some no-name brand but it works and then I put one of my spare deep woods on the back of it uh, just to have a little bit less hanging off the tail end I do like having the tire on there but I don't know how long I'll keep it there other than that uh, she's all stock still and since I traded the demon for it that was my night run rig that was the only truck I had with lights on it so this one's got a few lights on it here and there so i didn't lose out on anything there but there are definitely some things that's going to have to be upgraded real soon um obviously the the links are an issue i mean let's see if i can get this here see that steering link it just bows and bends like crazy um, so a whole new link set is definitely in order and then maybe a servo and that might be it until I break uh, break an axle and then I'll end up having to get some universals and some lockers, some upgraded lockers, and whatnot. But yeah, so we'll give her uh, give her a shakedown around here in the pit. See what happens. I don't know how long this run is going to last for because uh, that screw that's in the servo horn to the steering link it keeps wanting to pop out and 
I don't have any of my tools with me, so it lasts for however long it lasts for. Man, the cows have done a number up here. Got cow patties everywhere. Ooh. I definitely need to get up here with the weed eater and get some cleaning done, that's for sure. I'm not going to beat on it too hard today uh, just because I don't have the money to buy parts this week. I at least wanted to get her a little bit of test done. get a feel for it see how it handles uh, never actually had a bomber before um, I did have the the rift there for a little while but it ended up being, uh, being more of a hassle than anything uh, I I do my best to uh, drive it, you know, somewhat conservatively, and well, you know how that goes. For too long, you're jumping the thing ten foot in the air, and well, then you're breaking things. You know how it goes. <laughs> This thing is pretty loud, so I think I'm probably gonna not do a whole lot of talking here. Just because I don't want to have to yell with the phone so far away from me now. So we will go on a little walkabout through the perimeter that we don't normally get to see around here and see if it holds up.